Hi, I'm Brandi Dye, CCASA's Communications and Community Engagement Manager. And I'm Elizabeth Newman, CCASA's new Public Policy Director. We first of all just want to say thank you so much for considering making a gift to the Colorado Coalition Against Sexual Assault. Donor funds help us do so many things, but especially make important policy changes right here in Colorado. To explain some of those changes we were able to make, I will pass it off to our policy expert, Elizabeth. Thank you, Brandy. This past year, CICASA led efforts to pass two important pieces of legislation that enable more survivors to access justice and increase accountability for sexual assault. We know that many survivors do not report what happened to them right away, and time and again, we hear that the people who harm them can't be held accountable because of the statute of limitations. Senate Bill 73 eliminates the civil statute of limitations for sexual assault. This allows survivors more time to heal so that they can access the monetary resources needed to rebuild their lives when they're ready. We also passed the Child Sexual Abuse Accountability Act, Senate Bill 88, which creates a pathway for child sexual assault survivors to seek civil remedies from the individuals and organizations that protected their power and profits instead of the children in their care. Child sexual abuse is a major public health issue with significant costs shouldered by victims and society. This law incentivizes prevention of child sexual abuse by holding bad actors accountable and liable for the destruction they cause. And for those who were harmed before this law takes effect in January 2022, there will be a three-year window of opportunity to seek accountability for their cases. These bills were years in the making, and CICASA is proud to have worked with survivors, advocates, and our leaders in the legislature to make these meaningful changes. In addition to CICASA's two past priority bills, donor funds allowed us to support other legislation here in the state to make our state a better and safer place for survival, survivors of sexual violence. That's right. We also helped pass legislation that gives survivors the right to be informed about changes in their case and the status of their rape kit. So, so when law enforcement gets the results or if there's a DNA match, they have to let the survivor know. And after the evidence has been held for the statute of limitations, they must notify the survivor that they are going to destroy it. Then the survivor has the right to object and have it held for another 10 years. Two other bills we supported removed barriers to necessary medical care. Senate Bill 142 ensures that survivors using Medicaid have equitable access to abortion and other medically necessary health care. And House Bill 1165 ensures that the ability to pay doesn't impede victims of strangulation from receiving care and forensic exams. Donor funds really allowed us to make these changes right here in Colorado. And that's why we are hoping that you will support us this Colorado Gives Day. You can be a part of real change happening in your state. This year, Colorado Gives Day is Tuesday, December 7th, but you can schedule your donation to the Colorado Coalition Against Sexual Assault as soon as November 1st. Thank you. Thank you.